Hello everybody and today I am going to make a video about which is the most gold optimal build for Xinjiao. Now normally I would go for Black Cleaver into Starex Gage into Blade of the Ruined King but uh, a few people have suggested to me that instead of getting Black Cleaver I could get Trinity Force. So I'm here to see which one is a better build. And uh, besides that, I'm also going to try out a different build, which is, uh, is which is either Trinity Force or Black Cleaver, one of these two, followed by Crit items, so the Recharge Blade and the Ruby Quick Blade, because uh, apparently someone told me that this deals a lot of damage. And since I'm doing these tests also, I'm going to try out uh, an AP build. Although I don't think it really works on Sintel, but we can give it a shot since we are here. So, uh, as you can see from uh, the notepad, the first test I'm going to run is basically, and I will be updating uh, as I test this out. Um, so, I'm going to start with the first round of tests, which is a standard combo. Uh, and I'll show you the combo later. I've written it down, but yeah. Um, let's get the items first. Let me give myself uh, boots. So, uh, these boots and boot belt. I'm gonna get three items first because uh, so they are they're gonna cost around the same amount of gold. So I'll test it out with three items first on a dummy. Let's put the dummy here. And the dummy. So the basic uh, combo I'm going to be doing is my E. Wait, I'm going to use my E followed by my power attack. Uh, oops. Followed by this W and then keep uh, auto attacking until the enemy gets knocked up. That's the first round of tests. And I'm going to be using the various builds. The second round of tests would be um, to test longer fights. So you notice I wrote there 7 seconds and 10 seconds and that's why you can see a timer uh, on the top. So I will be testing this combo but in a longer fight to see which one deals the most amount of damage. So I will be doing a few attempts for each build. So what build are we on? Uh, we're on the Black Diva. Serex and Bork build now. Okay, so let's test this out now. Okay. So as you can see it's 2955. Five. Okay. Yep, so we can see it's about 2.9. The warrior spirit is never broken. It's about 2.9k. Now let's switch it up. Let's get Trinity Force. Okay. Right now let's test this out. Trinity Force, Starex Gage, Blade of the Ruined King. The warrior spirit is now 2.8. Alright, first attempt. 2.8k. Alright, let's try this one more time. Unity Force, Starex Gauge, Blade of the Ruined King. Okay, I hit one extra auto attack, so I'm. But I'm guessing it's about the same. How much does my auto attack deal? 600. So I guess it's about 2.8k. Alright, let's try this one more time. Yep, so it's 2.8k for Trinity Force and Starex Gage and Blade of the Ruined King. So, as we can see, Blade of the Ruined King, uh, sorry, um, Black Cleaver is a better starting item. Anyway, it's cheaper as well. Okay, now we're gonna try Trinity Force, Solar Recharge Blade and a very quick blade. Uh, the, just the burst combo, so... One two nine nine. So it's one point. Let's just say one point three k. And let's try that again. 
one four eight eight. So there's gonna be a variance here because it, uh, you have to take into account the uh, crit chance. Let's try one more time. The warrior spirit. One point one. So the range I would say is one point one. Now, uh, so the reason why I'm going to be running a second test is because uh, I would think that this build would be better in longer, longer fights. Whereas uh, the standard build works better with uh, short ones, burst combo. So now we're going to sell uh, 284s, get the black cleaver, and we will give it a shot. I do think that maybe this build will deal more damage if if I had infinity edge, but uh, I didn't want to you know get it yet. So now let's try this build with Black Cleaver instead of Trinity Force. 1619. So right off the bat, you get 1.6k damage. Triumph. 1.5. 1.5k, let's wait for Conqueror. 1.5, so it's 1.5 to 1.6k. Let's try again. 1.4, so it's 1.4 to 1.6. So, as you can see, the standard build works better, right? For, for short fights. Um, just real quick, let me get Infinity Edge. So now I have Infinity Edge and I have the Black Cleaver as my first item. So let's try it out. Let's try the burst combo out. 1913. So we have 1.9k. Not really a big deal. Let's try again. 2.1k. Let's try it one more time. 2.1k. So 1.9k to 2.1k. Um, not very impressive. But we'll have to test this with longer fights. Now the the thing about this build is you have your 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 cooldowns for your abilities are shorter. So that's why it works for longer fights. Which is why we need to run the test later on. Now, oh, okay, let me test with Trinity Force. See if it makes any difference. So this is the build right now, Trinity Force into crit items. 2k. Oh, slightly more. But then again, you need to take into account the variance because it's crit chance. Okay. Okay, so we we've been getting the same number. Yeah, we've been getting the same number. So it seems that there is no real variance here. Now, um, since we are running this test, right, with four items. Since we're running this test with 4 items, I think we need to be fair and go back to our previous build. Um, and I did this as well. I did this was as well in my previous test. I, mean, I did this uh, yesterday. I was testing with these 4 items. Although like... Alright, let's try this again. This is the build. Two point nine. So we can determine that the damage is gonna be two point nine. Now let's sell off uh, Trinity Force. Let's get Black Cleaver. Black Cleaver. Uh, Star X Gauge. Build a Winking Garden Angel. Three point one K. 
3.1k. Let's try this again once the cooldown has ended. 3.1. So, as you can see, Black Cleaver deals uh, slightly more damage than Trinity Force. And overall, if you're talking about the burst combo, then the Black Cleaver build is a little better than the uh, crit build. But we will try the uh, longer longer fight uh, scenario later on. Right now, since we are still testing this out, let me try a random AP build. Although, like I said, I don't really like this. don't think it really as much and since I was just gonna be so squishy with this build 1.1 damage so so you know what forget the AP build don't even bother all right so since we've uh, concluded this test right now we have determined that black cleaver is pretty much the better item to start with now let's test this out uh, let's test the crit build Let's test 7 seconds, 10 seconds. So here's how it will go. I'll be using the same uh, exact uh, burst combo, but I will keep on attacking until the timer rings. Let's start with the standard build first. Okay, Black Cleaver. Let's start with uh, 3 items first. And let's start with 7 seconds. So this is going to be a bit tricky, but I have my pinky on the mouse and as soon as I click on the timer, as soon as I start, I will press um, my third ability. So let's try this. This might take a few attempts, but let's go. Okay, 6.5k. I'm going to have to try this again of course, but um, you get the idea right? I press the button, I start attacking, and um, now the thing with this build, this standard build is, um, yeah, um, your cooldown isn't, all, isn't going to be as low as the crit build cooldown, so you're you're basically just gonna be auto attacking. I, I managed to squeeze in a E earlier on. Huh? So, you know, that's why we have to go for a few rounds of tests. And so we wait for this cooldown to end and then we will continue testing. Five. Well, I could have squeezed in. 5.9. I could have squeezed in one more attack, but let's just say. 5.9k to 6.5k. I, I will probably test this one more time. Six point five K. So you get the idea. It's about 5.9k to 6.5k. Okay, so let's go with uh, 10 seconds now for this Black Cleaver, uh, Seric Gage and Blade of the Ruin King built. Let's go. Eight point three K. Um messed that up a bit, but let's just say it's eight point three K. Um, we'll bring this for a few test runs. Um, let's just wait for the cooldown to end and then we will continue our test. Eight point three. So okay, let's say it's eight point three k now. Um, let's go for the critical build. Okay, so now we are going to test Black Cleaver into Solar Recharge Blade and into Neroi Quick Blade. And so, uh, I'll tell you first that the cooldowns for your abilities will be much, much shorter. So, um, you can spam them. 
but does this mean that you will be able to deal more damage? So let's try it out. Let's try 10 seconds first since uh, since the timer is at 10 seconds right now. Here we go. Five point seven. That's why I, I have reason to believe that you really need the Infinity Edge in um, this build. But anyway, let's try this again. Ten seconds. Here we go. Five point nine k. You get the drift, right? Uh, I can do 7 seconds test. But um, I think you really need IE for this. Let's try this now. Four point one k Let's try it with IE this time. There we go. Five point six. Sound the march. Five point eight. Let's try 10 seconds. Seven point two K. Seven point two K. Let's go another round. Okay. Okay, I'm running out of mana. Okay, so the problem here is you run out of mana really fast in the longer fights. Let's try one more time though. Seven point two. Okay, so it's about 7.2k. Now let me go back to the previous build and let's assume we are building a GA at the end. Uh, so, so, so. Okay, so we'll try 10 seconds. messed up that one but let's just say 8.7 so you notice in that instance you, know, you notice with this build you're you're not able to, to spam your skills but uh, you basically can auto attack the enemies to death and you still deal more damage So I added one auto attack just now, but let's just say, let's just call it 9k and um, so as you can see, it's um, uh, this build is still dealing more damage even in the longer fights. Do I really need to test 7 seconds? I guess just for the sake of this video, I will test 7 seconds, but let's just wait for the cooldown to end. Alright, let's go for... Let's go for a couple of test runs with 7 seconds of fighting. Let's 
7.9k kind of messed that up but as you can see it still deals a lot more damage than the crit build so we can deduce that this standard uh, bruiser build is uh, is a better build for Xinjiao rather than the uh, crit build um, now just to make things a bit more fair let's get uh, Trinity Force and let's run a test on uh, this build all right let's go for 10 seconds this will be a quick test i'm not going to test everything because it's really too time consuming but uh let's just test this out since we're here here we go eight point 7k basically what i want to show you here is um, in terms of gold efficiency if you look at the items right uh wait can i buy items from here no i can't can't sell them based on gold efficiency uh, black cleaver is cheaper than trinity force um they both give you the same amount of ability haste black cleaver gives you more ad and more hp Trinity Force only gives you uh, what attack speed, 30% attack speed. So Black Cleaver definitely it's uh, more worthwhile to get. Um, so you know between Black Cleaver and Trinity Force, I would get Black Cleaver. Now if you're talking about the crit build, as we can look at, uh, as we can see from the numbers, uh, you are heavily the. Uh, you are heavily reliant on Infinity Edge, and even then, it, your damage isn't quite up there. So, um, and you are very squishy. Like you don't have as much HP now, so you you ain't going to survive uh, as long. So I still prefer the um, the build, the standard Bruiser build, rather than the crit build. You know, but of course it's very situational. However, I still like this build, and. Um, Sound the march. As, yeah, you know, from all from this round of testing, you can see that it really deals uh, way more damage and it's more gold efficient. So, with this video, I hope that um, you're convinced that this is the better build for Xinjiao. Now, again, uh, I want to say that this test right here doesn't really determine that this build that you should go for this build all the time because it really depends on your own team comp or the enemy's team comp like do they have a lot of tanks or do they have a lot of squishies now um so um yeah it really depends but i would say that um i would stick to this build and um uh, regardless of the situation just that uh, maybe i would get no uh, maybe i'll get blade of the ruin king before i get sterex gauge depends so the order might be this followed by this i don't know um really depends if you are hit i would go for play it first um i know that some people i know that some people go for your moves but i don't know i mean in the in the early green in the early game it is great but in the late game when all the enemies have built armor uh, it isn't as great, whereas Black Cleaver is like a uh, great uh, in any part of the match, whether it's early game or late game. Even if the enemies are all squishies, uh, Black Cleaver is still a good item because um, it you know it, it helps with team fights. It shreds the armor for other for your other teammates to be able to deal more physical damage. And if I'm not wrong, uh, if I'm not wrong. Your second ability will give two stacks of the Black Cleaver passive. Let's see. Can't really tell, right? Is that two stacks? One, two, two, five. I, I don't know whether it's two stacks. Let's see. One, two, three, four, 
Right, yep. So your second ability gives two stacks. That's right. So um, I hope this video has been informative. Yeah, you could also consider Wits End um, later in the game or earlier in the game. I mean, it depends again. Depends on the enemy team count. Um, you know, but yeah, you got all these items to choose from. Death Stance is also good for staying alive, um, lasting longer in team fights. I mean, Sintel is a skirmish champion. Uh, you are supposed to be the initiator and um, you're supposed to buy time for your team so I think like it only makes sense for you to be as tanky as possible. Uh, now you notice I didn't use my ult in this uh, test and, and that's because you know I just wanted to run a test where um, you know to see since I was base damage without the ultimate. Of course I think with the ultimate uh, I, I don't think it will make too much of a difference. I hope this video has been very helpful to you and uh, let me know if you have any other builds. If you like this video, click on the like button and subscribe to my channel and I will see you again soon. Bye bye.